closer to the viewing area. And the main storm is right now north of Danville, Illinois. And you can see it, obviously, uh, right here. Right there it is. It, it's an, it was an embedded supercell, but it's almost taking on kind of a, an S or bow shape, like a line echo wave pattern. So what we have here is we've had a confirmed large tornado report. That came from the Weather Service Office in Lincoln the NWS chat. We had a large confirmed tornado with power flashes being observed um, near Rantoul, Illinois. And that storm is now uh, moving towards the viewing area or it's very close uh, to our viewing area. And it looks like that that tornado warning continues. Anytime the tornado is observed or it, considerable damage is expected. I've got a pink polygon here. If it's kind of a really brighter white polygon, that's a tornado emergency for a tornado, a significant tornado in a large populated area. And then just a tornado uh, warning for what looks like to be a tornado on radar, or it's there, but it's not been confirmed. That would be red. So this is a confirmed uh, and observed tornado with that storm northwest of Danville. Now the area that's got the rotation or the tornado itself is the little curly cue. And, and the more I loop this, the more I see that uh, it's an interesting storm. It kind of had supercell characteristics. It was kind of a supercell storm. And now it's kind of evolving into this bow or this S shape in the line. So the tornado would be right here. Again, Rantoul is back here. So the tornado would be here. It's going to pass very close to Hoopston and be ready in Benton and Warren County for this storm and even the storm south of there. Uh, because the thing is, this could very well evolve into a bow that produces widespread hurricane force winds across this area. So even if, say, we don't have a tornado warning, there's likely going to be a, a swath of pretty intense winds with this storm as well. This is a very intense storm and there are other warnings on these storms a little farther to the southwest and these are going to impact Fountain County and Tippecanoe uh, counties as well and will have be affected in White County by a severe weather risk uh, during the evening too because we've got these storms to get through and then there are additional storms kind of back behind here in, uh, in northern Illinois. I apologize, I'm kind of this is the problem about being like 6'4", is I have to lean down to look at this screen, so I feel like I'm really hunching down here to kind of to kind of look at this screen and, and, and uh, look at this data uh, on the screen. So bear, bear with me here. There's a little broader view. Again, we've got this wave of storms with the embedded supercells, the line echo wave pattern, the line, and then there's another line back here, and we'll see how much this elongates back towards St. Louis. Those are the two waves of storms that we are tracking uh, right now. And we still have the uh, wind threat, and, and some of these gusts, hurricane force, we still have that threat. We still have an isolated large hail threat, and we still have a tornado threat too. Uh, the conditions are, are still favorable for that. And, What's fascinating to me is that this almost looks like the low level jet increasing. You know, it typically in increases after the sun sets, nocturnal low level jet. And it's a ribbon of really fast winds about a mile off the ground and it transports moisture and instability. And with it strengthening, it may tend to increase the wind threat and also the risk of a few tornadoes uh, as these really strong low-level winds come northward. Okay, that was Josh. Again, I got great people back in the control room. We have Josh, we have Chris, we have Lily. Lily did weather uh, last weekend here and did a great job. So we're in good hands tonight. We've got good people back there and Josh tells me we are now going on the live stream uh, on our website. Again, there, there are no warnings for the area, but there, there will be a tornado warning issued very soon. I guarantee it 
for this uh, Warren Benton County area for this intense storm that a tornado was reported with it. A large, dangerous, confirmed tornado was reported near Rantoul, Illinois, back here. There's still a tornado warning on it, and the pink box indicates that this is an observed tornado. Red box indicates potential tornado. So regardless here, it's had a history of producing tornadoes, and it's moving towards Benton and Warren counties. Now, I can take a little x-ray of it and kind of show you where the strongest winds are and also the circulation with that storm. And right there it is. It really shows up well. Dangerous scenario shaping up for Hoopston right now. Again, where the brightest white blue color and the pink color, where well, that's the tightest, that's your tornado. This is your circulation and your tornado would be here and it's kind of moving in this general direction. So if you're in Fowler or uh, areas south of Fowler, Oxford area, Boswell, the Pine Village area, Tab and Stewart here, Pence in Warren County, and also north of Rainsville. Keep a very close eye on this because even if it's, say, not a, 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 a tornado when it reaches there, tornado, uh, you know, actual tornado on the ground, uh, this will likely produce some significant wind damage um, from some of the echoes that we're seeing on radar right now. In terms of the hail, we can put a, the hail's not overly impressive right now anyway. Um, it looks pretty small, but at any point, any point, it could reload and we end up with, you know, uh, ping pong ball sized, uh, one and a quarter inch diameter, half dollar sized hail. That's been, that was the tag on the warning that the weather service in Lincoln had, uh, the potential of hail to that size. So, we got a whole load of hazards with that storm and the, the, the evolution here has been to go from a supercell with a big tornado threat and a hail threat and a wind threat to now it's becoming increasingly like, a, like an S shape. We call this a line echo wave pattern. The thing about line echo wave patterns, they can produce tornadoes, but boy, can they produce the wind. Uh, what you end up with is a situation where you've got the underside right here, the tornado's tucked. It's tucked in here, you can't see it. So the tornado's there, your damaging winds are here in this bow shape, and then you'll get some large hail on this side of it, uh, kind of on the north side of that circulation. But usually it's this pocket here, you gotta worry about a lot of wind. And a lot of times you'll have straight line winds and the tornado will be embedded in the straight line winds and embedded in the heavy rainfall. So this is, this is not a good situation. These are the dangerous storms that produce tornadoes. Um, they're really dangerous because first of all, you can't see the tornado. You can't see the circulation. It's wrapped in rain. Also, this is passing at night. So, you know, with the passing at night, not only can we not see the tornado, but it's dark anyway. Sorry, my IFB is giving me fits here. I'm trying to think about two things at once. It got really loud and now it got kind of soft. Um, so sorry about that, but you get the idea here. We just have a big threat with this storm with the little line echo wave pattern line here. And a lot of times they start with a supercell and then they evolve into this significant damaging wind event. And I think we could see that evolve here in Benton and Warren County um, here within the next you know, hour to two hours as it races through that area. We'll put some storm tracks on it. Again, there's no warning up for the area, but I wanted to get out in front of this quickly because it's such an intense storm and it's had such a long history of producing severe weather. So it's moving at 60. So what I'll do is put a, a, a track on the worst of it first. And then we'll, we'll kind of work our way down the line. And they're using 60 miles an hour. Here are some times of arrival. Right here. Uh, let's see, right there we go. So Boswell, about six minutes. So we will, we will likely have a tornado warning very, very soon for Benton County and Warren County. We're kind of waiting on that because Benton County Chicago office 
Vermillion County, Illinois is the Central Illinois Weather Service Office and Warren County is Indianapolis. So they do a good job of kind of coordinating how they're going to, how this polygon is going to be uh, drawn up. Fowler about 14 minutes, Attica 26 minutes, Brookston 33 minutes, Wabash Township it's 36 minutes, Lafayette about 42 minutes, Monticello 46 and then Flora there in Carroll County about 56 minutes. I would say in Delphi it's about 50 minutes before it gets there. Um, keep in mind that it's moving so fast you don't have a lot of time to react here. I mean look at this, it, it's not far from Fowler at all. I would hope they would put that warning out soon because it's really right on Benton County's back doorstep. So the warning needs to be put out now because it's moving at 60 miles an hour. So 13 minutes to Fowler, just a few minutes to Boswell, about a half an hour um, to Brookston. So we'll kind of work our way back in. Looks like we've got a severe thunderstorm warning for Warren County. So the Indy has put out a, a severe thunderstorm warning for this kind of linear part of the line. So, and I can read that warning off. Yeah, Warren County until 945. Wind gusts up to 60 and one inch diameter hail. Now keep in mind, it, it, in this kind of situation, the circulation is just barely north of Warren County. So, that's got to be really close. You know, if we end up with a tornado warning for Benton County, you know, it may track across far northern Warren as well. But their thinking is this is mainly a wind threat. And that makes sense. This is kind of the Boeing part of the line. So it's 60 mile per hour gusts, perhaps even a little more than that. Attica, all the way back to Pence, Rainsville area. Uh, I would expect the winds to be higher than that, say 70, 75, up around Pine Village perhaps, uh, near Stewart, the uh, Tab area, and near Otterburn. And then we'll watch the circulation here as it moves right into, into a Benton County. Okay. We do not have a warning for a Benton County yet. But we do have these two warnings here for an observed tornado, these kind of lavender colored boxes. So we'll wait and see where they, where they end up for uh, Benton County with the warning. Um, Chris and Josh, if you can hear me back there, I think what we'll go ahead, I, I'm kind of waiting on them to, to issue the tornado warning for Benton County before I go on on TV. Um, so as soon, I mean, it, it could literally be in a minute or 30 seconds. So as soon as they put up that warning, I'm just going to do that really fast. And then we'll just immediately go on air if that's, if that's good with you guys. Okay, thank you. All right, if you're just joining us on this Facebook Live, we've got the severe weather that's occurring in the viewing area. Uh, beginning to come into the viewing area right now. We've got storms here moving northeastward. This significant line of storms moving northeastward. This line here is kind of fading up here near Chicago. So these may be the two rounds that the models were kind of uh, focusing in on a little earlier. Uh, maybe this one moving to the northeast and then this one racing through. Um, there is a severe thunderstorm warning for Warren County. Uh, for gusts 60 or better, again from Pine Village down to Attica, Pence, Rainsville, Stewart, and Tab, I would expect that uh, there'll be a lot of 60 gusts, but you know, given the history of this storm and some of the velocity signatures from a radar standpoint, we may have even higher gusts than that. And there you have a, a tornado warning for Benton County. Josh, if we can go live on air on TV, and we're just going to start all over again. News 18, weather from where you live. Hi everyone, I'm Storm Team 18 Chief Meteorologist Chad Evans here. It is 916. The severe weather is coming in right now and we've got a tornado warning for Benton County and a severe thunderstorm warning for Warren County. Uh, there you see the Warren County war uh, warning that's in orange. Gus, 
I think 60 to 80 miles an hour possible with this line. You see the line right here. It is moving eastward towards northern and central Warren County. Communities included Tab, Stewart, Pence, Rainsville, uh, south of Otterburn, the Green Hill area, Attica, Williamsport, all included as well as this line sweeps eastward. Again, winds 60 to 80 miles an hour. The tornado warning is for the other part of the storm. You can see kind of this curly Q shape. This was a supercell thunderstorm. It's kind of turned into this S shape. We call it a line echo wave pattern in the line. And right there, this is the part that's rotating right as we speak. It's near Hoopston and moving to the northeast right now at about 60 miles an hour. So the bottom line is we've had a tornado reported with this back towards Rantoul, Illinois. Power flashes were observed. A tornado was observed. It was a large tornado. And right now we don't have confirmation that there's a tornado on the ground. But if one would be on the ground, it would be very, very difficult to see because it's completely shrouded in rain. You're not going to see it at all. We've got damaging winds wrapping around this and the tornado would be kind of in the middle and wrapped in that heavy rain and those damaging winds. Now, uh, I just want to get ahead of it and put a storm track first before we start to analyze it and show you, show you the velocity and uh, all those tools that we use. But there it is. Again, if you're just join, uh, joining us, tornado warning is now out for Benton County. Uh, storm moving to the northeast at 60 miles an hour. Here are the times of arrival. I'll try to put this in an area that we can see it the best we can. It's, it's right moving into Boswell right now. Fowler, five minutes. Five minutes. Oak Grove Township, we've got nine minutes. Otterburn, we've got about 20 minutes. Badger Grove, 24 minutes. It's about 24 minutes, half hour from Octagon. We're about a half an hour from Brookston. Wabash Township, 35 minutes before this comes in. West Lafayette, 37 minutes, and it's about 40 minutes to the city of Lafayette. So there's not much time to react here. The thought is that the part that's rotating will tend to track. I'll kind of wipe this storm track off here. The part that's rotating will tend to uh, uh, tend to track right over the heart of Benton County and eventually move towards northwest Tippecanoe and eventually it'll move into parts of White County as well. Whereas the widespread damaging straight line winds, which granted there still could be wind mixed up in this, but this has got widespread wind. This is going to sweep farther south. So areas down towards Linden, Romney, Covington, Vetersburg, South Attica, the Malott area, Stone Bluff, Lind, uh, the, uh, the Clarks Hill area, those damaging winds will sweep through your area. The part that's rotating is more up this way. So, um, you know, if we've got a tornado right here, uh, it, it's racing at 60 miles an hour, and there's just not a lot of time to take shelter. So even if I were in White County right now, I would get ready to take shelter because with it moving that fast, it's going to be in White County here. Like I saw, like we, we showed you, it's, it's 29, probably 28 minutes now to Brookston. That's how fast this is going to move. And the winds and the severe storm itself will be in the greater Lafayette area. I mean, that's less than 30 minutes. It's going to be racing in here. We can do a little analysis, do kind of an X-ray of the storm to see what we're dealing with here and where the rotation is located. So it's obvious that we've got uh, damaging winds down here. The bright greens here, the winds surging outward, headed right for Warren County. But right there, that's where your rotation is. That's where we've got our potential tornado right over Hoopston right now. And not only is it rotating, I, I would expect there'd be some pretty intense wind just mixed up in this in general. Uh, rear flank and forward flank downdraft winds are mixed up in this, a 60 to 80. But that is the part that's rotating. That's the part that's got the, the tornado warning on it right now. And this is the part that's headed right for the heart of Benton County right as we speak. Um, so if, you're, if you are in a mobile home, um, you're not in a very sheltered area, you need to get to that place of shelter. And keep in mind, even without a tornado, winds 60 to 80 miles an hour, you don't want to be in a small mobile home in that regard because they can flip over. 
So now is the time to act. Go to your safe place in Benton County right now, not only for the wind that potentially is 60 to 80, but for a potential tornado here. And it, this storm has had a history of producing a tornado back towards Rantoul, Illinois. It was observed, power flashes were observed, and uh, that it was confirmed. So that's why that's this purple box. That means the tornado was confirmed. We don't have it confirmed as it's moving towards Benton County exactly right now. So that's why the box is red, but that's a pretty tight circulation, you know, completely wrapped in rain, completely wrapped in wind in general, moving in this general direction. And then also we've got the, uh, the wind a little farther south because no, you're not under a tornado uh, warning in Warren County. That's the, the orange polygon. But these are some intense winds that are about to come in 60, 70, 80 miles an hour. There's the new radar update. Right there it is. This is moving right into western Benton County right now. And right there it is, the core of intense wind. Uh, if, if there were going to be uh, tornadoes wrapped up in this, you would expect there would be possibly one here, usually where you get a little notch of bright red or pink and a little notch of white or bright green kind of linked together and tight. That's where your tornado is. And there are kind of two areas that show evidence of that. You've got one here near Hickory Grove, right in this zone. And then there's kind of another one down here south of Hickory Grove. That is just outside of the uh, tornado warning in Warren, uh, uh, in Warren County. Again, Warren County, you're not under the uh, tornado warning, but this is quite a signature here, just right on the Warren Benton County line, far northwest Warren County. And then the other signature is up here, right near Hickory Grove, moving right for the Fowler area. We'll zoom in a little tighter once more. Uh, yeah, uh, can, can you get double? But I'm talking to Josh in the back in the control room. Can can you do double boxes, Josh? Okay, yeah, let's try that. Um, we're going to show some lightning here, and what we'll do is, as the storms get closer, we'll take a shot of uh, of our tower cam here at the station and see what structures that we can observe in those clouds. You see the lightning off on the second uh, screen there that we're showing you, but right there, uh, damaging wind. Potential brief tornado continues to work towards Fowler. It's not that far away, it's just a few miles away. And remember, this radar data updates every few minutes. So this circulation is probably really close to Fowler right now. And you may be getting some high winds as well in that area right as we speak, right in that zone. If you're watching me right now, not only on television, but you're also watching me online, um, I'll broaden out because I'm getting some questions about, okay, well, what, what about Monticello? What about, you know, Crawfordsville? What about Kentland? What about Rensselaer? Well, I can tell you right now, we've got gusty storms up here. We may have some wind gusts up to 60 miles or up to 50 miles an hour here in Newton and Jasper County, but certainly the worst of the storm action is concentrated down here in Benton and Warren counties as we speak. Granted, these will be gusty. You'll have thunder and lightning, but right now these are not severe in Newton or Jasper County. The biggest storm we've got out there right now is this monster storm coming into Benton and also approaching Warren County. There's the new radar data that is updating. We'll take you back in and view this. Again, 925 Storm Team 18 Chief Meteorologist Chad Evans here tracking a an intense line of severe thunderstorms uh, that runs from Benton County all the way back through Vermilion County, Illinois, that are headed uh, into Warren County. So here's another look. The radar data has updated. Uh, you can see the severe thunderstorm warning here. The red box, that's the tornado warning. The line has the damaging winds of 60 to 80. This part could have winds 60 to 80, but there could be an embedded tornado in this and this little curly cube. This little curly cue, it's got a, it's rotating right here. Um, but the problem is, you know, with supercells, if you're on the backside of a supercell, you can see it. You can see the wall cloud, you can see the tornado or, or the funnel. You can't, I mean, this is embedded in a line. You, you can't see anything. Everything is wrapped in rain. 
So it's going to be really hard if there's a funnel there to see much of anything at all. That's what makes the threat here quite high with this storm. You just you got to be in your safe place. You cannot be in a mobile home in Benton County right now. And I would argue even right on the Warren Benton County line uh, as well. Uh, what we can do is is put another storm track on it and then we'll reanalyze the storm because it's moving so fast that areas downstream you've got to get prepared. So we'll put another uh, track on it and pardon me I'm kind of bending here I, I'm 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 like 6'4 and I can't I cannot move the screen any higher than it is so I've kind of kind of uh, lean and hunch over to get at the right height uh, of this screen and you kind of got to bend your legs a little bit to get here and and do this. So there's your storm track that we'll put on the screen. Again, remember it's moving at, at about 60. So we'll put some times of arrival on the map, do the best we can to kind of estimate two times of arrival. So this is going to be in Otterburn in about seven minutes. Uh, we've got Hedrick there in Warren County, 11 minutes. West Point towards about 13, 15 minutes, I would say. 18 minutes to Brookston. Again, Wabash Township, you get 23 minutes before the high winds and, and, and again, nearby possible tornado passes uh, by your location. Lafayette, 27 minutes. And then you can see Flora and Wea Township, anywhere from uh, 30 minutes to about 45 minutes here. Um, we're looking at Delphi. I would say if, it, if it's coming through Lafayette in 27 minutes and floor in 37, you take about half of that. So about, about 32 minutes to get to uh, Delphi um, here as well. So that gives you a little time to prepare here. Know that this storm has had a long history of hail and wind damage and tornadoes with it. It looks very intense on radar. And there it is. We'll go ahead and do kind of an x-ray of that storm. And right there it is. We can see the bright greens a little farther to the south. And what this is indicating is just we've got some really strong winds that are surging towards Warren County. So the leading edge of the really high winds, we're going to be able to get some anemometer readings, wind, wind instrument readings here. I'm going to check that out. But here's some of the high winds of 60 to 80 coming into Warren County right now. And it, right here in Benton County, there is the area that's got the tornado warning. I'm going to move this velocity scope right there. And if, if we've got a tornado here, it's either going to be right here. You got the bright, the, the, you know, the bright pinks, the bright white green colors tighten together right in this zone here going to pass very close to Fowler. Another area is just northwest of Pine Village. This could impact Oxford here very shortly and be not that far from Boswell and, Bent, uh, and uh, Benton Central High School. This little area. Uh, I'm kind of going back in my analog in my brain. I remember tracking tornadoes in November of 2013 and I remember that because a lot of those tornadoes were in storms like this, where they were little S shapes in the line, a lot of times the, the tornado is not overly conspicuous. It's a big bright red green area, but where the bright greens and bright reds just lock like that, just like Tetris or like Lego, where they lock, a lot of times that's where the actual tornado is located. So, Again, yeah, this is, this is not far from 41 and 26. And then this is just west of Fowler right here. And actually now, because the radar data has got to update, this is probably moving over the Fowler area and this is approaching Oxford uh, right now. So that's why they, you know, the weather service has the tornado warning uh, up. So if you're just joining us, uh, it's 931. Uh, we've got a severe thunderstorm warning for Warren County. We still have the tornado warning for Benton County as well. We've had a very intense supercell thunderstorm that's been evolving and has been tracking from near Rantoul, Illinois up to Benton and now moving into Warren County. 
Um, it's had a history of producing tornadoes, confirmed tornadoes, and had a history of wind damage and large hail. And that storm is now barreling through northern or northwestern Warren and barreling right in through the heart of Benton County as we speak. And you can see that right there. The curl, again, damaging winds, damaging winds here, but also a potential brief tornado that may be tucked in to that spot right there where that curly cue uh, is located. So we'll zoom back into it. Again, there are kind of two areas we focused on potential tornado would be right here near Fowler, right in this curly cue that's probably about right here right now. And then this little curly cue here that's probably about over Oxford right as we speak. So be in that safe place in Fowler and Oxford right now. There's the new data that's updating. Again, one curly cue is up here. We've got another one down here. So we've got two pockets where we may very well have a developing tornado that's completely rain wrapped, can't see it at all, um, that is racing at 60 miles an hour uh, off to the east. We'll do another view of the radar velocity data, then I wanna do another storm track on it um, to keep tracking it into your neighborhood and, and, and certainly where you live. So we'll kinda move, there we go. So there is the velocity product. Again, your damaging winds here. They are moving into Pine Village. There's your rotation right there. And that curly Q, again, possible tornado near Oxford, possible tornado here, not far from Fowler at all. We've got two areas that we may have a, a, a tornado about to develop or uh, already in progress. Uh, another tool we like to use is the, the debris product. The thing about when you analyze tornadoes that pick up debris and you can pick it up on radar, this is tracking mainly over rural farmland. Uh, it's interesting that the only time you can really tell if a tornado is picking up a lot of debris and it's this bright spot on the radar is if it's hitting something, if it's hitting a town or it's hitting large buildings. Uh, so this, it's gonna be a little hard to tell if we are hoisting up debris, if we've got a tornado here. Okay, yep, uh, that was Josh in my ear, confirmed touchdown in Iroquois County, Illinois. That was the pink box we had up here. We had the pink box here, and then we had the pink box down here. So it was confirmed touchdown in, uh, in Iroquois County uh, that we saw. We'll go back to our velocity tool here. And it looks like we've got a new tornado warning for White County, which makes sense because this is moving so quickly. So we'll toggle off the velocity and pop the radar data back on. There's the new tornado warning for White County now as this curly Q, actually two of them, move eastward. And we got to watch northwest far northwest Tippecanoe County, out by the beef farm and uh, northwest of the Purdue Ag Farm, where they got a lot of their test plots in that part of the county, around Octagon. Uh, Mulvey Pond is out this way. Otterburn is here. Otterburn is getting hit very hard right now. We got to watch that little sliver right here because this part near Oxford that's rotating and this part near Fowler, they're kind of moving east, a little northeastward, and this could clip the far northwest part of Tippecanoe County. So we'll put another storm track on. I'll first focus on this part of the storm that one may have went 60 to 80, but also a couple tornadoes may be embedded. And then we'll focus on the line that extends into Warren County and uh, go ahead and put tracks on it. Uh, again, it's moving at about 60 miles an hour. So I've got it set at 60. And we'll go ahead and plot that eastward and we'll take it way to the east, way to the east. And I'll get as many cities on here as I possibly can and kind of put this in an area where we can view it uh, the easiest. Uh, Remington, it's literally uh, knocking on your back door. Again, this part that's rotating near, near Fowler is gonna pass very, uh, very close to Remington, just south of Goodland near Wadena. 
um, near the, uh, pretty close to the Wolcott area, the Wolcott area, that, that tornado warning does include you. And then this part will pass again, far northwest Tippecanoe and then uh, towards Brookston. And keep in mind, again, those are the spots that may have tornadoes. We're not talking the 60 to 80 mile per hour winds that may be wrapped up in this either. So uh, Wabash Township, 11 minutes, 11 minutes till it moves into your area. City of West Lafayette, we've got about 19 minutes. Camden, it's 26 minutes. Floor, 28 minutes. Logansport, 35 minutes. You think it's really far away from you, but when this thing is booking at 60 miles an hour, it'll be there before you know it. So prepare now for possible extensive wind damage or a tornado from this. Galveston, 45 minutes. And finally, Peru, it's about 49 minutes. And I would say, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna leave anyone out. So I'd, I'd say in the Delphi area, it'd be about 12 minutes, uh, maybe uh, near Pettit area, north of Dayton. Uh, it's roughly, let's give it about 25 minutes, 20, 25 minutes till it gets into your area. And then uh, Camden here as well, you can see the time there, 25 minutes. And uh, like Deer Creek, it's probably gonna be like about 27, 28 minutes when this comes into your uh, neighborhood as well. I want to, I'm going to kind of take the, the, the storm tracker off and look at some storm reports that we've received. Oh, before I do that, I do want to, let, let's go to this part of the line too, because the focus is here quite a bit, but this is also an intense part of the line too. Um, Northern Warren, uh, you're under a severe thunderstorm warning for wind gusts 60 to 80. However, the line goes well to the south. It goes southwest to Danville. So the whole line and even this supercell down here is going to get this entire area down here in our southern counties. So we got a supercell here with big hail and damaging wind. We've got damaging winds here at 60 to 80. And then we've got two circulations that may produce a tornado with 60 to 80 mile per hour winds up here. And it does look like Indianapolis, they've issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northern Tippecanoe County and also northern Carroll County, kind of right on the edge of this storm. So we'll go through the warnings once more. We've got northern Warren severe thunderstorm warning, far northern Tippecanoe severe thunderstorm warning, northern Carroll severe thunderstorm, tornado warning white, tornado warning in Benton. Earl Park, you're clear. Fowler, you are not clear. You're kind of in the heart of it now. Otterman, you're in the heart of it as well. Uh, you still got the storms to get through in Pine Village and Stewart and Tab. But remember, all of this has to clear our southern counties over the, uh, the uh, next few hours. So if, if I broaden out, you can see we've got a lot more to get through. This has to move northward and this has to pass through. But if you look behind it, there's not as much going on. So my thoughts are, unless this line elongates a little bit more, it's kind of going to be all this, this and this that we're going to get through here over the, uh, the next few hours and should be out of here uh, before midnight. So here we are, we're at 940. The warnings are up. What we're going to do now is just go through each storm and analyze where the worst parts of the storms are located. So I want to start in Warren County. Again, Warren and Fountain, the entire counties are going to be under severe thunderstorm warnings very soon. Get ready for the wind. Got 60 to 80 from this really intense wind now coming into southwest White County uh, and the two areas of rotation. Remember, there's one here and there's one here. So watch this, watch Remington, because this part is rotating. Here's Remington, here's Wolcott here. This is near Goodland right there. See that, that little curly cue, that area of rotation is gonna pass very close, if not right over Remington. And then this part that was rotating is gonna pass uh, just north of Brookston, right around Chalmers here in the next about 20 minutes. Now, how do we know that? We can kind of look at a, an x-ray of the storm, if you will. And I'm just making sure my phone has enough power in it so I can keep going with this because I don't want my phone to go. We're doing this on Facebook Live, but we're also uh, doing this uh, on our station page. Uh, we're live streaming too, so you can check it out there. All right, 
So there are the bright greens, the intense wind right here approaching and moving through northern Warren County. There are the other winds, the bright greens here with the line that will sweep through to the east. Let's go to that tornado warning that's up here in Benton County and also White County. And there it is. Two areas of rotation. See where the greens and, and uh, pinks and reds lock? So right here, not far from Oxford, and then right here where these kind of fuse together. Remington's right here. It looks like we got a new tornado warning for the Remington area in southern Jasper County for these two spots that are tight and tightly rotating. So I want to zoom in and focus on these two areas and where they're headed. So we're getting the high winds in Otterburn right now. If we've got a brief tornado, it is right here, very close to Oxford. This is Highway 52. Right there it would be the reds and the pinks locking in. This is moving to the northeast. Here's Highway 18. Um, this is the White County line, and then you get I-65 up here. Here's 231, so 231 and I-65 interchange, that's up here. It's going to pass very close to that area, close to that uh, rest stop there on I-65. And then the other part of the storm that is rotating, uh, that's tightened up, if you will, it'd be up here southwest of Remington. So right there it is. Uh, it's probably near Remington right now where these two have locked and tightened up. It's moving near the Remington area and then we'll pass northeast where it should pass near Monon after that point if we've got a brief tornado embedded in that. And then we have the damaging winds here again possible tornado here but the damaging winds now getting into far uh, northwestern Tippecanoe County. So I want to do another storm track because they're moving fast. I want to keep you updated on how just how fast they're moving. The track, you know, it, it continually updates. The times of arrival are continually updating. So let's go in there and we'll do the whole line and then I need to look at storm reports so we know what these are putting out. We've probably gotten some pretty good wind readings. Uh, from these. Again, if you're watching us up in Rensselaer, it's storming. You may have gusts up to 50, but it's not severe. It's storming east of Kentland on 24. It's not severe right now. You got to go south uh, and southwest towards Wadena, Remington, and just north of Fowler to get into um, the real meat of the severe weather. So we'll do another storm track with a 50 or pardon me, 60 mile per hour track right here and we'll put it through the heart of the viewing area so this is for wind and potential tornado or two mixed up in this when 60 to 80 possible uh, a tornado or two there could be a little hail mixed up in this but the main mo here is the wind and the tornado risk that's that's the heart of the the of the, of the warning being issued here Brookston, pretty much right there now. Battleground, nine minutes. Monticello, 12 minutes. Burnettsville, 21 minutes. Flora, 25. Deer Creek, about a half an hour. And Logansport, it's about a half an hour away. In Miami, they're in northern Miami County, 38 minutes. Peru, we've got 46 minutes. And finally, Denver, we've got 50 minutes until the part that's had all the rotation and so much wind with it that's the time of arrival. So you've got time to prepare now. Keep in mind, if you're in a mobile home, you don't want to be in a mobile home when you've got winds 60, 80 miles an hour, you know, hurricane force. And you don't want to be in that mobile home when you have tornado risk or potential tornado uh, coming at you either. So this gives you time to react here and plan ahead as to what you're going to do, where you can go uh, to stay safe. We'll go a little farther southward in the line, track that, put a storm track on that. We're going we're gonna to end up with warnings, I would expect, for the rest of Warren and also Fountain County here in a little bit. We've got a supercell down here and then a line south of Hoopston. This is all moving in this direction. So what I'll do, I won't put a storm track on any of this in front of it. Uh, I'll put a storm track, do the best I can to put a storm track on this and then track it eastward 
uh, about uh, 50, 60 miles an hour. Again, the main threat here is just wind. That's been the threat down this way. Uh, not so much tornado risk. It's been all wind down here. So we'll put the track on. I'll do it as best I can. It's a little messy down here storm wise. So we'll put the track on. And there we go. Uh, as best we can see it. Here we are in Covington, about nine minutes. Uh, again, this part of the storm is going to hit uh, southern Tippecanoe County in about a half an hour. Thorntown, about 41 minutes. Rossville, 52 minutes. Because remember, this part is what's going to hit Clinton County. In Frankfurt, it's a little less than an hour. In Sheridan, it's a little more than an hour till it comes into, uh, in, into your area. I'm going to wipe the storm track off. And what I'd like to do is just see what kind of gust, what kind of damage has occurred and what reports that uh, we have gotten. Uh, dime sized tail in Otterburn. Dime sized tail in Otterburn, that makes sense. Any one of these could put out some hail. Uh, again, I'm just going through reports raw. So I'm doing this live right as we speak. So I'm, I'm refreshing the data on the screen here and we'll kind of go through some of these gusts. Uh, the anemometers, I, I can't get any access to the weather station in eastern Benton County. So evidently the power is out there because I, I cannot get access to it. Go a little farther south. Uh, the storms have not gotten into Covington, so we can't get a reading on that uh, weather station. Um, Again, Kentland, you were kind of right on the edge of these storms. You didn't have a warning, but it looks like your peak wind gust was 52 miles an hour. Not quite severe, but still, uh, that was the gust at the airport. And it looks like um, south of Goodland, where we've dropped down to 59 degrees. The gust there was 48 miles per hour. Um, and then the, the, I can't get access to the Attica station. So we're getting power outages and it's impacting what data flow uh, we're, we're getting here. So the very least, you know, the, the, I, we get the 52 at Cantlin and that storm didn't even look overly bad. A lot of thunder, a lot of lightning, 52 is still nasty, but these look a lot worse. This storm now moving in through Southeast Benton and in southern and central White County, and also right around Remington, that is the worst storm that we've got out there right now. And it looks like we had a wind gust of 66 miles an hour. This is uh, just south of Earl Park, a gust of 66. And right now, I, I'm, I'm, again, I'm looking at raw data here and let my computer update. We're getting some strong winds uh, from one of our spotters, a weather station south of Round Grove, where the winds are sustained above 32. So, again, this looks like we've had some pretty decent wind here in, in Benton County. I would suspect we've had some gusts. 60, uh, 60 to 80 based on what we were seeing uh, on the radar. So let's go back to the tracking. We have the wind reports. It, you know, some of it measured with local weather stations and anemometers. So we verified that the 66 here. We've likely had higher gusts than that. The storm doesn't look quite as organized as it did, but it's still got a little curly cue up here near Remington. There's a little curly cue down here. Both have had a history of tightening up and potentially producing a tornado and then broadening out and then they tighten up again. So at least right now, the area that's got the greatest low level rotation in the uh, tornado warning, and again, the tornado warnings for Southern Jasper and uh, Central and Southern White counties, it would tend to be pretty much uh, right over the wind farms here, just northwest of Brookston where this has tightened a little bit right there. And this bit is tightened up right over Remington. 
Uh, we've, there is a, a, an NDOT weather station at Remington that I can access, and we'll see how high the winds have gotten there. And I believe it says 52, but that was an earlier gust. Let me see what we've had in the past, like 15 minutes. So it looks like we've had gusts 35 right now, anyway. R right there, right at uh, US 24 and I-65. There's a weather station there run by NDOT, and that is uh, the, the latest gust here in about the past 15 minutes. The gust of 52 actually occurred earlier uh, in the day. Okay, we'll keep we'll keep analyzing that or at least keep watching that and see how high those gusts get on that particular station there at Remington. All right, we'll go back. All right, there's the storm there. So if we've got brief spin-ups here, it's going to be eh, perhaps here near Remington, just to the northeast of Wolcott, where it's tightened a little. This, it, it's apparent this has tightened up right here, southwest of Reynolds. So this is an area that may have a brief tornado with it. This is going to track uh, just south of the Reynolds area. There's 24 and there's Highway 43 and right there is Brookston. Again, remember, Mixed up in all this, there could be a little bit of hail up to one inch in diameter, and there could be still gusts 60 to 80 miles an hour mixed up in this, and you've got a quick spin up just completely wrapped in rain and just wrapped in the wind. Uh, it's a situation where you've got winds blowing in one direction, say 60 or 80 miles an hour, and then all of a sudden you get a little spin up from this goes through, the wind cranks up, more than 80 and the wind changes direction and that's how you're going to know you've got a tornado so that's what make this uh, makes this so tricky it's night and everything's wrapped in rain you, you, you just can't see them uh, very well at all and here's kind of where that particular signature is headed so right there it is it's probably more right here right now because remember the radar data updates every few minutes there it updated, not as tight as it was, but it, it's there. And this is going to pass very close to the Monticello area. Now, are we looking at violent, strong tornadoes on radar? Doesn't look to be the case, but an EF-1 can still do damage. Or an EF-2, an EF-0 can. Uh, so st uh, still take this very seriously. Got to be in your safe place in Monticello right now and in Chalmers and I would say areas near, right around, and just south of Reynolds, right in this zone, uh, be in that basement, be in that interior room until this all passes through. Because in this case, it's not a supercell where you've got one area where you've got this strong tornado that shows up on the radar well. This is like one area here, you've got another area up here, uh, for potential tornadoes. And we've got a lot of wind mixed up in this uh, as well. I want to go over the warnings again really quickly because <clears throat> we haven't updated those in a while. So Benton County, other than Otterburn, you're in the clear. You're in the clear. You're just in the rain and the thunder and the lightning right now. You've been hit hard but the worst is just about to leave. It's just right here on your southeastern fringe, and then it's out of here. Newton County, you're in good shape. Uh, looking to your northwest, you've got one more line of storms to get through, so for the time being, you're in good shape. You've had a lot of rain. Temperatures have fallen into the upper 50s. We'll still watch this little line coming in from the northwest but you've cooled off a lot. You've stabilized quite a bit. Still could be some gustiness as this swings through, but things are looking better for you. Uh, Jasper County, it is the Remington area that's got the big risk right now. Areas just northeast of Remington and just to the southeast of Rensselaer. That's the area that's got the tornado warning. For the town of Remington itself, you're good. You're in much better shape. You've got the thunder and the lightning and you get the heavy rain coming down. But the worst part of the storm has left your location. It is just northeast of you. And it looks like we've got a brand new tornado warning for that Remington rotation signature. 
This includes Monon. It also includes uh, areas around Francisville and then all the way up to Winnemac. So this is going to track, it could put out a tornado at any time. It's going to track, uh, track very close to Monon. So beware of that. We're going to put a storm track on that shortly. I just want to go through all the warnings for everybody else out there right now. Um, the tornado warning again continues for White County. We've got the rotation here. It's headed for Monticello, Chalmers, area south of Reynolds. Severe thunderstorm warning, northern Carroll for damaging winds uh, locally 60 to 80 miles an hour as this line sweeps through. And be aware of that in the city of Lafayette too. This could sweep through just like that. So there is the warning. Far northern Tip Canoe, northern Carroll County, Deer Creek, Delphi included, Yeoman included, um, and uh, Montmorency is included in that warning. And all areas uh, north, generally north of where 52, or pardon me, 23152 hits Sagamore Parkway, right there by the mire and northward, that's where the uh, severe thunderstorm warning is. And that includes the town of Battleground. A little farther south, uh, we've got warnings all over eastern Illinois. They are lined up. We've got a supercell here we got to watch, and then a line of storms here. Uh, these are just plain old random heavy rainfall producers. These are not severe, but this mess will likely congeal and form one main line that will sweep Montgomery, Southern Tippecanoe, and Clinton counties with damaging winds here uh, over the next hour, hour and a half. What I'll do now is put a storm track on all of this because we got a lot going on and you want to know where it's going. So I'll start with the south and track it into your neighborhood from there eastward. Again, moving at uh, 50 to 60 miles an hour. I'll do the best I can with a track here and move that east. I included uh, the uh, city of Lafayette in this one, in this particular track. So we'll try to put this in an area that we can see it the best. Um, it's in Vetersburg right now, Williamsport, nine minutes, Attica, 11 minutes, Linden, 16 minutes, Crawfordsville, 25 minutes, Wea Township, we've got 30 minutes before this part of the line gets into your area. Frankfurt is 40 minutes, Rossville, 43 minutes, Finally, eventually down over here to Lebanon, Kempton and Kirkland and Michigan Town. It's about 47 minutes away for all this to congeal, form a line of wind and race eastward. Now, there would, there would still be a tornado threat with that, but the main threat is wind. And as we have seen time and time again tonight, occasionally you'll get some hail mixed up in this as well. So this looks messy down here right now, but this line and this supercell and Kind of a 